Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color, and this is your reading for the week of September 4th through the 11th. And uh, please like, subscribe, press the comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. All the information is below. The sale this month. And um, be willing, listen, be willing to be flexible, right? Like to change course. That's what it was. Be willing to change course. But I feel like in a good way, you know, it's almost like uh, you're on the, on the road and you're heading to this and this city or this and this town. And then whoever you're driving with, or yeah, maybe you hear something on the radio, like that. No, no one listens to the radio anymore. No one ever listens to the radio. And there's an advertisement for like this fabulous thing. And it's like, you know, you're driving, and you're straight ahead. It's like, <laughs> or you pass something on the road. That's like, that looks really interesting. I don't feel a little bit like that. Which is, it, it, seems, it seems, it feels adventurous. That's how it feels, which is nice. As opposed to, oh, no, you know, I, I had this whole plan. It doesn't feel like that. It feels more like adventurous. Yeah. Well, I get really lovely cards to start with. I start with strength. Sorry, I haven't itched. All right. I start with strength. So strength's really a great card. It's card of Leo. Strength is really about, With strength is, I mean, there's a, it's a lot about a lot of things, but I always feel like, so it's, this is the eternal, right, divine, coming through in, in um, feminine form, whatever that means. So what that means to me is like, it, it's kind of like the, the feminine aspect of the Godhead, which is really about comfort, it's really about love, it's really about acceptance, it's about um, support. Right. It has that this energy of um, I love you just the way you are. I love you just the way you are. I love you, you know, uh, even if you didn't make your bed. I love you even if uh, I don't agree with you. You know, I mean, it's not. <clears throat> and that coming through. And you are having the ability through that energy inside yourself, right, to tame the beast, to kind of direct your thought, direct your power, direct your energy, direct your uh, loyalty, your fierceness, you know, all those things that Leo has. And then I get the three of pentacles and the three of cups and threes are all about, <clears throat> excuse me, creativity. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This is about building something that, you know, this could also sometimes, it can be real estate sometimes, right? Or, you know, something in the physical world. And then, you know, the muses. So I feel like there's this energy of you being able to tame yourself or calling on energies to tame you to work with your creativity in a new way that might be somehow hidden from you. Or, you know, it's kind of like, Let's say you decide, oh, I want to start playing with watercolors. Like, I'm just giving an example. So you go to the store and you buy some watercolors. But when you're there, you see some other stuff. You don't even know how it works. And you buy that too, let's say. Or, you know, you buy those watercolors and, you know, then you realize you didn't buy uh, paper. And it's like, well, what have I got around the house? Maybe I could do it on cardboard. Maybe I can do it on, uh, on right? Maybe I, it's a little bit like that, a little bit like, and just be in the joy of it. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it's like making a, a, that turn that I said, just, you know, how kids will take crayons and color on the wall. It's like, and they're having so much fun. <laughs> oh, we're going to decorate the whole house. Uh, it's, it's a little bit like that. Like allow yourself to be like this creative kid that's sort of like, you know, yeah, because it, it, it's going to help you to um, 
I think it's going to help you have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your abilities. That's interesting. That's what I'm getting today. It's like, it's going to give you confidence. And um, it's like, I tried it. I liked it and I'm good at it. And it's fun. So, you know, the first time I went skiing, everyone's like, oh, it's this, it's that. It's like, I just skied. I mean, I didn't ski off like, you know, a mountain that was like this steep. But I just skied. It was like, people were like, oh, you need a lesson and you need this and you need me. You know, and I had like a five minute lesson. It was like, okay, let's try it. Same thing when I, the first time I went, um, what do you call it? Border skiing. I got right up. You know, lesson. It's like, just try it. Yeah, let yourself out of your, your own prison. It's kind of like, Oh, well, you know, sometimes we tell ourselves, well, you know, I'm, I'm not artistic. I'm not athletic. I'm not uh, business savvy. I'm not whatever it is. It's like, just try it. Like that's, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Like, just try it. You know, like, it's almost like defending yourself from your own Michigas. So a Michigan is somebody who's crazy, right? Michigas is like craziness, like like little craziness that right, like it's like neurosis. That's basically what it is, right? Yeah. From your own neurosis. Oh, I can't do that. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too fat. I'm too gorgeous. <laughs> Whatever that that thing that you tell yourself. It's like whatever i'm too gorgeous but i'm going to jump into the mud anyway i'm too wealthy but i'm going to go to the dollar store and have fun i'm too uh thin and um uh, you know i'm gonna walk down the street with wearing practically nothing to let everybody know that i actually like that like i'm, I'm owning it right yeah it's about being at home with one's body, with one's soul, at being at home, being stable, or pretending that you're stable in a way, right? Because that that card, it, it's it's a card of meaning celebration, which is great, and it's a card of stability, and it's a card of domesticity. But I also feel with that card, um, there's a sense of being at home in one's body, being at home with one's thoughts, being at home with all that you are, you know, and being comfortable in it. And I, I really feel like that's the, the gift that's being offered here. Because there's two cards of creativity. You have a seven, which is about confidence. You have a nine, which is about attainment. You have two sevens, which is about confidence. Uh, you have two threes. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like rediscovering or or maybe when you were a kid, it's like, oh, well, I, I can't go on the swings because I'm really scared. And my mommy said that I'm really clumsy. And it's like, and now you're going on the swings. Or you loved going on the swings. And now you have an opportunity to go on them again or in a new way. A little bit like that. I have to say, <clears throat> going on the swings as an adult, I haven't been on swings in a while, but going on to the swings when you're an adult, and you when you when not when you're going up, when you're going up, it's great. But then when you're like kind of getting ready for the next one, there's such a feeling of excitement. It's so much fun. It's like, <gasps> it's almost like, you know, uh, your parents uh, are taking you to like the amusement park you always wanted to go to or the, like the toy store and you can buy whatever you want or the ice cream store. It's like, oh, it's a little bit like that. <laughs> Not just an ice cream store, like the best ice cream store, right? Okay. Yeah, this is how you're going to establish something new. I, so this is really interesting. I feel like this new establishment or this new way of seeing things or um, 
ritualizing things or um, it's kind of based in joy. It's based in joy and based in um, fun. This is really nice. This is a really nice reading. Really nice. Yeah, that's the strategy. To manifest what it is that you want. And so this is the second time that we get this. I always find it interesting when we get the eternity symbol twice in a reading, which is the magician and the um, and strength. Because I feel like there's this energy of, um, I mean, this might sound a little woo-woo, but I don't really care. Um, there's this energy of, it's almost like, this is like your soul's, calling your your mission your um your joy that your soul experiences maybe in, in, in other lives as well as this one kind of thing so you know I, some of you know i'm you know i paint with um dye i paint with dye and um i taught myself how to dye and um I don't really follow the directions. I really don't. And I kind of make my own formulas. And um, I, like, I, I took to it like a duck to water. I really did. And, you know, I mean, maybe my initial five, six, eight, ten times were. Mm -hmm. But as I've done it more and more, it's like I just intuitively know what to do and I just follow it. And I'm in complete joy when I'm doing it. I can't wait to get like a studio here. Can't wait. So I feel like that, like sort of like, yeah, okay, I'll try it. Yeah, all right. That's the energy I'm getting, which is really, really great. Yeah. You know, it's all, you know, okay. And then I'll keep it quiet. The Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is a new idea, new inspiration, uh, a new way of looking at things, uh, um, a beginning. But there's an energy in the Ace of Swords that I've been feeling lately uh, because it's metallic, right? So when it comes out, it's like it flashes light because the, the light bounces off the metal. And in that flash of light, it's almost like past is done and there's a whole new story starting. There's like that, definitely that energy. Like, you know, it's like a magic show. Poof. Like, a little bit like that. So it's really exciting. It's a really exciting reading. I'm happy to give it. All right, away we go. Uh, summoning one's courage. Um, your subconscious is helping you to build something new, enjoy a um, brand new opportunity that you can manifest and be confident and attain a, a new place to hang your hat, a new place to, to uh, plant a garden and hang your hat that you're being led by your light and uh, to build a new tradition and you have, to, and to build a new establishment and you have the strategy and the enthusiasm. Freaking fantastic reading. Like, seems to you. It's exciting, so exciting. 